Hello, good day everyone. This is Tebs, welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a 60 inches sharp LED TV. Model LC60 LE275X. It's not turning on and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to repair it. If you are new to this channel and found it informative, why not consider subscribing for more great content. And make sure to like and ring the notification bell to never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV has no power or standby light indicator, so first let's go to the main power supply and check the voltages. Let's first measure the standby voltage supply. No voltage was measured to the standby supply. It is automatic that we also don't have a voltages at the other supply if the standby supply is missing. This is the standby supply. Let's check if the main capacitor is charged. It has a charge of about 155 volts and declining. The main capacitor has a voltage, so it means that the AC main fuse is okay. These are the output voltages. I'm sure this is the 5 volt standby supply. No voltage output usually the power regulator is the problem, but let's first check the rectifier diode of the standby supply continuity. The multimeter is set to continuity mode, beep means possible shorted. Seems the rectifier diode is shorted. Let's remove the connection going to the motherboard and check if the short reading will remains. The short still remains, and it means the short is on the main power board. Examining the main power board is dangerous if you don't discharge the main capacitor, so let's discharge it using the 220 ohms 20 watt resistor. Let's remove the power board and find out what is really the shorted.
Let's only isolate one of the diode leads, so if the diode is not shorted we can easily solder it back. The short reading is now gone, it is really the diode that is shorted. Let's replace the diode, hoping it is only the issue. We will not replace the diode with the same part number. Let's find a rectifier diode which is for 5 volts. There is a bigger diode to be used in the standby rectifier. Maybe this bigger diode is for smart TVs. Smart TVs have higher amps consumption. This is not a smart TV, so they put only a smaller diode. This bigger diode is ideal for it, the bigger the better. And it is for 5 volt supply. Let's remove the diode. Before we solder the diode let's test it first. The forward voltage is about 145 millivolts, this is the reading of a low voltage rectifier diode. The diode is good, so let's solder it in place.
The diode is in the perfect fit. So, bilang tulatan? Kuno malam pun. The diode is solder now in place. Let's test it to see if we have a standby voltage now. We have 5.03 volts at the standby supply now. Let's place the power board back in place and see if the TV will turn on. The main board is now connected, and the voltage reading drops from 5.03 to 5.02 which is a small change, it is normal to drop a millivolt when it has a load. There is a standby light indicator now, and the TV is turning on now. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. Thanks for watching. It is only a minor trouble but I still Inc. hope you enjoyed that and learned something from the video. Of women, you can help this channel with your likes and subscriptions. Bring the notification bell to keep you updated on a new release video. Once again this is Teps. See you again next time. Bye for now.